Hey everybody, everybody, I'm back. It's Scott Gold. Well, today I'm doing a mukbang. It's been too long and I am doing a mukbang at my favorite place. If you watch my channel, I come here um, every so often, but I'm coming to Culver's and I am here because they have the curd burger, which is a limited time thing. I really wanted to try it last year. Um, when I heard about it, but it was sort of after the fact, and I don't know how long they have it, but, you know, if you're familiar with Culver's, you know the best thing about this place is the cheese curds. They look like this. They're super delicious. I love them. They're far better than the fries, um, which are, you know, okay, but the cheese curds are the thing to go with. So this value meal, I guess you could call it, was uh, $20.19, which doesn't really seem like that much of a value. I did add on a ice cream as well, so um, that was not part of it, but here is the main attraction. I'm super excited to try this. This is the curd burger. So, we have one thick layer here of cheese curd in lieu of your normal slice of cheese, which they give you the option of American, cheddar, Swiss. So this is a single patty and we have everything on it, which is um, mayonnaise, pickle, tomato, onion, lettuce, doesn't look like they added any ketchup. But they also didn't ask me what I wanted on it, which was unusual. So let's give this a try. Very good. Um, you kind of actually, in that first bite, get a little bit less of a cheese taste than I had expected. So I'm going to go in for another bite here and see if I can get a little bit more of that cheese curd. Yeah, on that one I did. So... Like I said, I think this is something that they only have for like a week or something um, every year. And last year when I had seen a review of it, it was already too late because they were no longer offering it. So yeah, I haven't been as active on my channel lately. Um, I've just been very, very busy. It was... Uh, a long hot summer, a lot going on. Um, you may, I'm not sure which channel I'm gonna be posting this on actually, but you know, I have two channels. So I have uh, my channel that's the original channel called The Scott Gold Experience. And I have my secondary channel, which is The Chicago Life of Mine. So if you're not subscribed to both, I wish you would be, because <laughs> I do content on both. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, coloring lives with some of my friends that um, I have here on YouTube and we've been doing quite a few lives uh, on my The Chicago Life of Mine channel. And that's just because I enjoy spending time with those uh, people and catching up. It's really more about the conversation, hanging out, catching up. Um, more than the coloring. I always tell people who don't maybe understand, why are you coloring? That's just the medium. That something to look at. You can watch us color while you listen to us talk. It's probably a little more interesting to watch than just sitting there looking at our faces on a screen. So, Although, we've never tried having a group mukbang, so something to consider. 
I did get a Coke. And I did upgrade to the large. So that contributes to some of the additional cost. But I have not been drinking Coke. I used to drink Diet Coke a couple of cans a day. But I've recently given that up. So this is kind of a treat. This whole thing is a treat, really. But um, yeah, I like to get it on occasion now. I'm going to also try this concrete mixer. I sort of get stuck on the things that I like and don't usually try a lot of new things, but this is a concrete mixer with Reese's peanut butter cup, which is kind of like, a, you know, Dairy Queen Blizzard or something, but much better because this is their frozen custard. They don't have ice cream here. They have frozen custard. So it's um, more of a milk uh, base, I guess. Less There's less water content in it. So it's a really creamy, really nice consistency. It's finally starting to get a little bit cooler in the Chicago area, um, although it's still been, you know, 80 the last few days here, but, um, and we're already October 4th, so I'm looking forward to a little bit cooler weather coming this weekend. I'll be attending a wedding for uh, one of my cousins. I'm going to try the cheese curd here. Which will be a formal wedding, and you know, you don't like to be all dressed up in a suit when you're, when it's super hot outside. So, I think the high, though, is going to be like 50, 58 or something. So, you know, careful what you wish for, I guess. I hope it's mostly inside, um, but I, I don't know, you know, it doesn't tell you a lot of information on the in invitation, so... We shall see. I need to get back into a, more of my cooking videos. I haven't been doing those. I haven't been making my uh, Sunday breakfasts as much as I used to. Um, but I do miss putting out uh, as many videos as I used to. So it's something I want to get back into more. I was driving past this Culver's and I saw that they had this cheese curd burger and I remembered how limited of a time they offered it so I figured I better stop in and it's dinner time. I was going to go home and figure out what to have for dinner anyways. I need to go shopping so I didn't have a whole lot. This was perfect. So, you know, there's a lot of people on YouTube, you know, in this community, we all kind of know each other around these YouTube streets. And I was just remarking to one of my friends uh, from YouTube saying, you know, so many people that we know have quit YouTube. Um, a lot of people have ch uh, shut down their channels. Other people have lost their channels. Um... Other people are just, you know, not posting anymore or have dramatically changed their style of content. Um, so, you know, he said, well, that happens. And I'm, you know, I haven't been around for as many years, but uh, I know a lot of people that um, you get to know and you start to get close with sort of drop away. So, uh for any of you thinking that maybe that's kind of what happened to me on my um, the Scott Gold Experience channel, I uh, I definitely don't want that to be the case, and I definitely still enjoy uh, making content. I just need more time to do it. Really, look at this cheese oozing out the the end here.
So I'm going to make that a priority. One of the things I noticed in my um, neighborhood is uh, Halloween is definitely upon us. We have so many people who really go all out, put in an incredible amount of effort into their Halloween decor. Many people I know have it professionally done. And you can tell. I mean, uh, it seems like the last three years, I would say, everyone and their mom has a 12-foot-tall skeleton, at least one. And now they have 12-foot-tall witches. Um, but the degree that people go is almost as it's almost as popular in my neighborhood anyways as decorating for Christmas is. You know, every third or fourth house has a full on display with lights and and uh um figures and you know that used to kind of be reserved for real aficionados of the of that holiday, you know. It would only be very seldom years ago that you would see people really go all out but it's become very very common and people start earlier and earlier so I say that all to say I've already been seeing quite a few houses starting the process and I'm sure we'll have uh, and it's probably contributing to that is this very warm weather that we've been having these last number of years so people can sort of um, get out there and and do it when the weather is still really nice and a lot of people very intelligently I might add choose to get a jump start on it early before all the leaves have fallen because then you have you know a mess um, although I don't know you still would have a lot of cleanup to do now you'd have to do it around your decorations so I don't know if you, you can't win with <laughs> with the leaves but around here at least they're just starting to fall so it also makes me think about um, apple picking season you know that was something I never did when I was growing up um, I mean very very rarely and you know over the last 10 years it seems everybody goes out apple picking and there aren't that many apple orchards in the metropolitan Chicago area so it seems everyone hits up the same you know dozen <laughs> orchards that are in the whole you know tri-state area I did go once to one in Indiana where there was like not an apple left to be picked it was like people competing over I was like oh that's my apple <laughs> you know they just weren't, they were picked clean. So you kind of got to hit it at the right time. And so if you're thinking, you might want to do that. Probably start looking into orchards now so you can uh, figure that out. I've gone about three, three times and uh, made kind of a day of it. Excuse me, some of the people that have these big operations, uh, you know, they make it into all kind, you know, an, an entire carnival, um, you know, wagon rides, uh, you know, self-picking apples, corn mazes, haunted uh, events, um, all sorts of things. And I remember we went to one like that one year, and it was a little overboard. You know, we weren't particularly interested in all that stuff. It was extremely expensive. I remember we went to go check out from the like two bags of apples that we had picked and it was like you know like 
I don't remember, but I swear it was like $45, $50, you know, to, for the couple of bags of apples that we picked. It was just like outrageous. So there are smaller places that maybe don't have so much going on. And I think that's probably more what we're interested in. And uh, we're going to try to seek that out if we do go this year. Um, less is more sometimes in regards to that. Uh, sometimes it just starts to get so expensive and, you know, you're not even really wanting all that. I suppose if you have young children, maybe that's of interest to them. But if you're just looking to go, like, go pick apples or something, there are places that maybe are a little bit further away, perhaps a little bit off the beaten trail that might be better options. We went to one of those big places one year and we walked around. I don't even think we picked the apples. There was a lot of other stuff to see, but we kind of just took it in for what it was. We got a caramel apple, you know, we got some bakery stuff, donuts. That's always very popular at uh, these things, the apple cider donuts and stuff like that. And we really kind of thought about it and said, how many apples do we really need to eat? I mean, we don't really care that much about apples. We're not gonna like go home and make a pie or whatever. And you do far better to buy them at the grocery store. So maybe that's the way to go about it. Take the event in for what it is. Enjoy some of the food and things that they have there. Some of the entertainment and, you know, don't feel obligated, I guess, to purchase all kinds of extras. You know, there's a lot of these places that have honey for sale for just like astronomical prices. Decor items. Things like that, but you want to support local or small businesses and that. And obviously they make all of their money at one point in the season. So there's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, I guess be a little cognizant of uh, how much you're really going to be wanting to spend on apples. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not going to make this too long. I'm just going to finish up my, uh, my burger here. I would definitely get that again. Um, maybe that'll be something they bring back, um, regularly. I don't know. And, uh, I definitely love the, uh, the Reese's peanut butter cup, um, custard. So thanks for tuning in and joining me here. It's been too long. We have to do this more often. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. If you have, welcome to the family. I love you for watching.